1968 to 1970, Moriyama contributed to a very important independent magazine called Provoke. It was created by a group of artists, poets and, and other intellectuals that were advocating for an autonomous language for photography. And they, of course, were opposing the more traditional engaged photojournalism of the time. Daido contributed to number two, that was a number dedicated to eros and the idea of eroticism and fetishism and how our desires were being substituted by images in the capitalist societies. He also contributed to the number three with these images uh, made in a supermarket, this invasion of American brands and products. He's looking at this in a much darker, maybe somber way than, you know, you could think of Warhol's Campbell's Soup, very shiny, bright and colorful, but Daido is, you know, looking at this, uh, these brands through images that seem to dissolve. This is also the moment where the famous Arebure book style, the grainy, blurry, out of focus that, you know, Daido became very famous for, uh, took shape or matured. It was a very special uh, style created, I think, to represent the ambiguous feeling in Japan of seeing the traditional ways of life being dissolved and you know the invasion of capitalism values and consumerism dominating the culture in the country.